The stage appears set for the political battle over who governs Anambra State as Governor Willie Obiano submits his nomination form at the National Secretariat of the All Progressives Grand Alliance in Abuja. Governor Obiano enthusiastically announces his plans for the people of Anambra State. Again, I want to institutionalize the achievements I have made in the first uh, uh, three and a half years or so, you know, and uh, also watch some of my projects uh, um, actualize, like the airport that will be ready in three years. I'll be around to commission that. The national chairman of the party and the chairman of the Willie Obiano campaign organization open up on the forthcoming governorship election. We have followed due process. Ordinarily, the governor would have stayed in Oka and sent somebody to come and drop the form. His director general is here. But we didn't do that. He had to come here. Obiano will win the election. If we will not win the election, they will not be throwing spanners on his way, hurdles. You know, they want to stop him from being a candidate. You know, if they will beat him in the election, they allow him to go and uh, contest without any challenge. Away from the elections, Governor Obiano, who is gunning for a second term in office, having ruled Anambra State from 2014 to date, comments on the August 6, 2017 killing at St. Patrick Catholic Church, Ozubulu, which claimed numerous lives. We are taking precautions. Uh, we, we, we have a lead. You know, we have some names, the police has it already, and uh, I'm very confident that we'll resolve this case very soon. Anambra is the only state in Nigeria governed by the All Progressive Grand Alliance, and this has been since 2005. With the promise of a level playing field for all governorship aspirants, the party will hold its primary election on the 15th of August to pick its candidate for the November 18 governorship election.